Can everybody hear me all the way in the back? Okay, you can hear me okay over there? We are in the savannas. Savannas are grassy land. They usually are between tropical rainforest and tropical desert. The whole biosphere too is a tropical environment. In our planet, Biosphere 1, it's about 2,000 miles. Right here is 529 feet. Tropical rainforest, upper savanna, lower savanna, thorn shrubs, and far desert. We try to keep the savannas somewhere between 65 and 85 degrees in temperature. More or less the same humidity, 55, 75%. And we try to rain about 60 inches of rain per year. There are two main reasons why Biosphere 2 is a tropical environment. The first one, oxygen. This whole wilderness air was planted to provide oxygen for the biospherians. Tropical rainforests of the world are active 12 months out of the year. Biosphere 2 was copied to mimic in the northern hemisphere. So savannas and thorn shops are active in the summer and dormant in the winter, and vice versa with the fog desert. So at least one of the biome and the rainforest provided oxygen for the biospherians. The second reason, food. That area there behind me used to be the farm area. That's where they got their food. One half acre of land and given up, given up food for eight people because it was a tropical environment. And because a tropical environment, you're continuously harvesting. And so they, we had the, uh, harvesting and planting and 12 months out of the year in a temperate weather zone you can only harvest once a year because of the tropical environment we harvest three times per year and that's why one half acre of land given up food for a people and that makes the most uh, intensive agriculture area in the world as of today any questions before we move
these stalls have been pulled down some sand stone mantle. Even down off to the right, you can see some of the glass mantle. Right next to it, by some broad in land. Then the ginger bell. Ginger, banana, sort of paradise, or any kunya. That's the eastern exposure. Imagine how much sunshine would have got there during construction is still today. And when you look at the lower canopy, it's not more the earth. This you know, that's in front of us, not so far from our own office, a right here in front of us. So there might be some similarities in our own office and lower canopy coming from rainfall. The similarity is very big or light. These plants photosynthesize without too much sunshine. So the ginger belt is doing a very good job. We are doing a research right now, actually called this daughter for the next several years, and it's all about DOC, volatile organic compounds. As you know, the plant will do favor synthesis, photosynthesize, and they are respond. But through respiration, they also prevent, so they prevent the produce DOC. Several tangible stable swine ethanol, and the DOC are very reactive. Once they get into the atmosphere, they impact up the air quality. And they also impact the formation of clouds, which mean rain, which mean water. One of the reasons why gold is getting grand is because you believe the production of DOC is different from the different conditions, whether it's a cloudy day or a sunny day, whether it's a drought period or a rainy period. So we investigate that for next several years. And what we're going to learn about production of VOCs and the impact on our environment. Any questions before we go? The question is, what about the solar panels? Long, long time ago, when, when uh, we opened up the biosphere, yeah, 1990. <laughs> 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 if, if, if you were being surrounded by people looking at you, then it would be easy. But yet, yeah, it is kind of crazy because normally, um, kids whose voices are low like this, I mean low as in close to the ground, have squeaky voices that we call high. And then when you when you get big, then your voice your voice becomes low. So I think that's kind of crazy. Anybody here think that's kind of crazy? Yeah, kind of crazy. But here is an alternative explanation. Supposing there's a vacuum water. If the water's here, you get a low sound. If I squeeze the bulb so that the water goes up, 